and that's why she's packing up these boxes that you see here with supplies to send to troops overseas. She said even though families are sending their own care packages, she remembers the amazing feeling of opening a care package even when it's from a total stranger. To, to be able to do this, um, I think it does give some peace knowing that our soldiers are still taken care of. Tanya's family has a long military background and coming up a bit later in the show, I'll explain why this small gesture means so much to Tanya and her family. Don, we'll go back to you. Well, here's a staggering number from the Colorado Department of Transportation. 88 passengers and drivers of motorcycles were killed last year in El Paso County alone. Now with warmer temperatures, more bikers will be out on the roads. As Eric Lufer reports, safety and responsibility are on both the cyclist and the person behind the wheel of a car. Everybody's dusting off their motorcycles and getting their uh, maintenance done for the springtime and, and it's time to ride. But motorcycle accidents like the one depicted in this PSA from the Colorado Department of Transportation happen, especially now. Motorcycles are hitting the streets. Just use exercise caution. El Paso County often ranks first in the state for motorcycle accident fatalities every year. Those rates are phenomenal and, you know, just think about it. J.D. Hilliard does. He's a rider and trainer at Pikes Peak Harley-Davidson. I'm always continuously scanning and watching what's going on in front of me. I'm watching what's going on behind me. But Hilliard says responsibility falls on everybody out on the road. I think it's a combination of, of riders not being uh, up, to, up on their game as well as they could be and automobile drivers not, not used to looking for motorcycles. The key, be aware of what's around you because you never know. This could happen to you. Talk about startling video. That was Eric Lufer reporting. For safety ideas you can use when you're behind the wheel and on your motorcycle, head to our web channel, kktv.com. This evening, crews are still working on an 8-inch water main break that shut down service for more than a dozen customers for hours today. The water main that broke runs under Murray, just north of Palmer Park. Work is still being done to repair the road, so Murray is closed between Palmer Park and Constitution. That could be the case until 9 or 10 tonight. Springs Utilities says at least 13 customers had their water turned off during the break, but they have since had that service restored. A semi-truck carrying 10 cars rolled on I-25. Maybe you saw this, maybe you were stuck in it. While southbound was closed to just one lane, uh, just south of Cimarron Street for several hours this morning, Colorado Springs police tell 11 News that alcohol and speed are not factors in the accident. Well, you know, I live in Woodland Park. I heard they was missing possibly somewhere in Teller County. And uh, just one of those things, I had the time and thought we'd go up and take a look. One seven right, clear to touch here, five six four here, Papa. Yep, yep. 293, Springs departure, radar contact. I suppose the car is the key to the mystery, huh? Find the car and... Right, that's the whole thing is nobody has, nobody's found the car, so that's why I'm looking for a black Honda Accord which is not going to be easy with all the shadows. Do you still see the road on your side? Center cover Lima Springs approach, radar contact, block 4622. Well, you know, we fly over that area from time to time, and uh, until we hear something uh, as far as a resolution, we're going to continue looking if we can. As long as there's a chance that you might find somebody, you want to take that chance. While the search started on the ground, Take two four, ground, it's now taking to the sky. As long as there's a chance that you might find somebody, you want to take that chance. Richard Walker and Terry Polkin donated their time and plane to help find Jeremy Grease. But it hasn't been an easy search. I suppose the car is the key to the mystery, huh? Find the car and... Right, that's the whole thing is nobody has, nobody's found the car, so that's why I'm looking for a black Honda Accord which is not going to be easy with all the shadows. News of the aerial search is comforting to the Grease family. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It's just wonderful. I mean, that's, that's what we need. We need. We need help from people around here. The family says this new tool is a great asset to the search. I don't care how many eyes are looking in the same spot. I can understand. We, prob we may have already gone by where the car is. I don't know. We appreciate, like Cass says, any and all help to look for Jeremy because we love him and we miss him.
vehicles and a Dodge truck caught fire overnight at Perkins Motors dealership in Motor City. The blaze nearly scorched a nearby building, but fire crews were able to get a handle on it before it damaged anything else. The cause of this fire is under investigation. No injuries are reported.